Hey guys, it's Bill. And before you hit the fast forward thing, just hang on one second, one second. I just want to say thank you really for all the subscribers and views and stuff. I mean, like I said, I, it blows my mind that you guys are watching and actually like the content and comment and, you know, positive and stuff. Um, I just want to say that i um, getting on work on the yellow truck and I'm um, getting it ready for Hot Rod Power Tour. If you guys want to follow along, I'm going to try and put a video up every day. I don't know if I can do it or not. Uh, you know, I'm still kind of new to this, but I'm going to try. Me and my daughter are going to run it. I have a great group of guys. Um, we all run it together. We've been doing it since 09. This is going to be my first time trying to like video it. So um, if you guys want to follow along or even if you like what I've been doing in here, um, subscribe. It, it, all you got to do is like, hit that button. Like, I think it's over here, but hit that button and um, hit the bell and uh, hit the thumbs up thing. So uh, it helps me out a lot. Doesn't cost you a penny. There's no like black helicopters following you around for your info. Um, it just alerts you and lets you know what's going on and um, helps me out, kind of promote my page and makes it a little better. You know, maybe I can air condition this place because it's hot. So anyways, thank you guys. I just wanted to say that so you can hit the fast forward past the intro and all that, but just stay tuned and please watch. Hey guys, it's Bill, and welcome back to Flat Broke Garage. Today we got a tale of two trucks. You've all seen my 1995 Ford F-150 two-wheel drive that I purchased. It was sitting behind a little general store. We got it ready. I've been kind of cleaning it up because I'm going to take it on Hot Rod Power Tour because my uh, Comet isn't going to make it. So we got some new Michelins on it. Threw a toolbox on it, got a stereo coming for it, yet to be installed. Um, got about 100 miles on the truck since I bought it. Really runs and drives good. The brakes work great after I replaced literally everything on them. But um, when I did the video on this truck, I had made mention in, an, in the original video that I had bought this with the intentions on taking it apart and using the engine and other parts to fix this. This is my 1993 Ford F-150 short bed four wheel drive. I like this truck a lot. It's pretty clean. It runs, it drives, it literally leaks everything. It was owned by the state of Georgia and very poorly maintained. Transmission leaks, freeze plugs leak. I mean, it just, it leaks. But the air conditioner works. So, like I said, my original intention was to take the engine out of that and put it in that. Because this engine, like I said, leaking oil, freeze plugs are leaking. It's all got to come out to do all that anyway, so... I don't know, it's got a 200,000 mile engine in it, and it just, it, it's got a miss to it. I think it's got a bad cylinder. I'm gonna have to check it. Uh, so that's where I'm at with this. These are both 5.0s, automatics, um, literally the same options. Just trying to decide which way to go. Do I, keep this one and that one or run the hot rod power tour with this one sell it take the money and put it into this one i don't know you know a guy a guy can never own enough trucks i mean i got one out there too got another one up in my building so really starting to like on this truck but i just i don't need it you know Maybe just sell it after the power tour. I, I don't know. It's a good truck. So let me give you a lowdown on this one, though. Like I said, it's uh, from the state of Georgia. It was from a resort and spa. It was on a golf course. 
Um, they left a window down. The window never sealed. And it has rust. That's the only place it has rust where the water came in from the passenger window. And uh, other than that, floors are solid. It's a little caved in here. The beds get the... Uh, I mean, they've been hauling stuff in here. I mean, it's the bed's a little smashed up and back, but that don't really matter. A bed liner can fix that. A couple other little kinks in it. It's starting with the rust. Just like every one of these Ford trucks where the dirt sits, it just gets in there and, you know, eats away at it. Uh, like I said, it needs, needs some love. Got some holes in the roof, but uh, seat. I really like these trucks. You know, this is the, as they call the OBS, you know, original body style. Starting to become a little bit more collectible, too. You know, a guy could fix this thing up. Fresh engine, trans, a little lift kit on it, some bigger tires, and uh, have a nice rig. I mean, AC. She's just got the crank up windows, but what else more does a guy need? The only thing that bugs me about both of them is neither one of these have cruise control. I mean, ugh. you know, I mean, I get it. The This is a North Carolina state vehicle, and like I said, a state of Georgia vehicle. They order them as cheap as they can, but, ugh, you know, I like the cruise. So, I mean, other than that, I might just color match the hood, just squirt some paint on the hood, a little bit on the roof. And uh, like I said, it's, it's not a bad truck. So let me know what you think in the comments. You know, I, I don't know. Kick me up, let me know, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. We will uh, keep you up to date.